After almost a year of fighting against Hamas in Gaza on its southern border, Israel is shifting attention to the north, where Iran-backed Hezbollah has been firing rockets in support of Hamas since October 8th. The situation leaving residents on both sides of the border at odds. Every 10 years, 15 years, 5 years, we have war again. This is Israel. You can't, you can't uh, fight with terrorists. It's guerrilla. You can't fight guerrilla. As long as we have a neighbor like Israel, we can't sleep safely. We must always be ready with a deterrent force against this brutal enemy who doesn't differentiate between children, women, the elderly, or resistant fighters. So we treat them the same way they treat us. A day after a wave of Israeli airstrikes hit Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon, thousands of Lebanese citizens are fleeing the region. Monday now being called the country's deadliest day in decades, with Lebanese authorities saying the death toll is over 500. Uh, Strikes, warplanes, destruction. No one is left there, everyone has fled. We took our belongings and left. If there's a possibility to return, we will come back. If not, we won't. Right now, no one knows where to go. On Tuesday, Rafiq Hariri University Hospital in Beirut announced the opening of new wards specifically designed for war injuries, and evacuation calls have been made as far as the capital. We received threats by phone saying they want to strike Beirut. Meanwhile, detonations could be heard throughout northern Israel as rockets fired from Lebanon were intercepted by Israel's air defense systems. There's a feeling of uh, finally taking action in order, in order to restore peace here, uh, which has not been the case for the past almost year. The people here have been feeling like they've been abandoned. Residents expressing fears after seeing some of the heaviest cross-border exchanges of fire with Hezbollah since the hostilities erupted. I am pretty worried. I am pretty worried because I got to survive somehow. I am, I am I got to pay rent somehow, so I can't really afford to leave work and go somewhere just for safety. So I am praying that the situation will resolve. Israel's government is facing mounting pressure to secure its northern border and return residents there to their homes. But this comes alongside the increasing threat of a full-blown conflict, meaning that on both sides of the border, residents are unlikely to see life return to normal anytime soon.